erupt as Trump describes Maxine Waters with three humiliating words. Uh, by Dan Lindsay, Politics US News for MadWorldNews.com. I find the video now. President Donald Trump just dropped three humiliating words on anti-Maxine Waters after months of putting up with her incessant demands for his impeachment. You don't want to miss this. Maxine Waters has taken nearly every opportunity to demand Donald Trump's impeachment since he took office, but she hasn't provided any evidence to justify it. Because of her baseless demands, Waters has joined a ridiculed group of liberals who aren't taken very seriously by more intelligent politicians on both sides of the aisle. On Saturday, uh, March 10, 2018, Trump roasted Waters during a rally in Moon Township, Pennsylvania, where he spoke in support of Rick Sacone. Sacone is the Republican candidate running in Pennsylvania's special house election set for Tuesday, March 13, 2018. Washington Examiner reports that Trump hammered Waters during his speech with three humiliating words. It won't take long for Waters and her supporters to call Trump a racist for this devastating truth bomb. We're so proud of this country, but our new slogan, when we start running in, can you believe it, two years. Let's take a listen. Uh, let's just take a listen. It's hysterical. Have. We're so proud of this country. But our new slogan, when we start running in, can you believe it, two years from now, is going to be, keep America great, exclamation point, keep America great. But we can only do that if we elect people who are going to back our agenda and fight for our values. And that is why we have to defeat Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and Maxine Waters, a very low IQ individual. You ever see her? Do you ever see her? Do you ever see her? We will impeach him. We will impeach the president. But he hasn't done anything wrong. It doesn't matter. We will impeach him. She's a low IQ individual. You can't help it. She Absolutely. Really we will impeach him. But you have Maxine Waters and you have plenty of others. And I mean, Nancy Pelosi, you can't have that. And Connor Lamb, Lamb the Sham, right? Lamb the Sham. He's trying to act like a Republican, so he gets, he won't give me one vote. Look, I don't know him, looks like a nice guy. I hear he's nice looking, I think I'm better looking than him. I do, <laughs> I do, I do. And he's slightly younger than me, slightly. No, I heard that, then I saw him, he's, he's okay. He's all right. Personally, I like Rick Saccone, I think he's handsome. And you did a great job on television today. I watched you, Rick. That was a great interview. That was a great interview. I appreciate it, too. But he's really good. Here's the thing. We're dealing with people that want to obstruct. They want to stop us from doing things. We put an infrastructure bill in for $1.7 billion. And I hear they want to stop it. They want to stop DACA. DACA is their issue. But I'm willing to go along. Get it done. We've got to get it done, right? Get it done. And besides that, you know, honestly, we need good, great workers in our country because I'm bringing a lot of companies into this country. We're not going to have workers for it. We have to bring them in. But DACA, they're here. They're good people. And the Democrats are trying to not do so. I offered a deal that was so good you can't refuse, right? Like the mob pictures. I'll give you a deal that's so good you can't refuse. I made a deal, I, I gave a deal so good they could not refuse. And I did it because I thought they were gonna refuse. And they did. And they're getting killed now by the DACA recipients. Good. They're getting killed. But somebody like Lamb, he's never gonna vote for us. 
He's now saying, and I appreciate his nice words about me. This is Trump country, right? So he has to say nice. Okay, he's smart. Well, let's get to this point. I'm running against arguably the most corrupt, incompetent, and delusional members of Congress who have hijacked and plundered uh, our poverty and crime-stricken district over 30 years while she lives uh, like a queen in a $4 million mansion an hour away from the people she supposedly serves and pays her daughter $750,000 of taxpayer money for mailers. I'm on a quest to drain the swamp waters and put an end to this foreign gangster's reign of terror and insanity. Will you join me? Wrote Navarro on his crowd pack page. It's only a matter of time before the mainstream media gets hold of this story and attempts to smear Trump as a racist. They don't care about Waters' career, full of failures, or the fact that in some parts of her district, people are still murdered for a pair of sneakers. They ignore the inconvenient truth in order to push their anti-Trump agenda, and that is why so many Americans have turned away from the liberal media. And now the DACA people are going after the Democrats. They're starting to realize, I could not agree with uh, more with President Donald Trump and candidate Omar Navarro, low IQ waters, and her clan are nothing more than vultures, excellent description of them, who have taken advantage of a desperate situation for years. It probably doesn't help that a large number of the people in the 43rd district spent more time worrying about being shot in a drive-by than whether or not Waters is actually doing her job, with the exception of her Northern California counterpart, Nancy Pelosi. Waters truly is the dumbest liberal of them all. Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters in the same boat. I, I just thought... I found the part where he is calling her out, but absolutely, totally agree with that. Uh, they need to go, they need to be uh, uh, put, uh, put out of office. Both Pelosi and Maxine Waters, they don't care about their constituents. Imagine 750 k to pay your daughter to stuff envelopes. Are you kidding me? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.